So, Garrett, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> Good. So, how did you feel at the anonymous locations we were at, having all of the bugs, the fruit flies around? Um, it was very annoying because they were everywhere in a couple of the houses we were at. A couple, or maybe just one. Uh, one. In particular. Yeah, one. And why do you think they were there? Um, as I looked around the house, I noticed there was still tomatoes from the garden in there. Um, they have kind of like a, a bucket that they use for compost that was sitting there. I mean, it was all fresh cut stuff, but it's an attractive. Compost. Fruit. Yep. Yep. So. Yes. And at the other location we have been to that had fruit flies, they actually let us know that they found the source. And do you remember what that source was? I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was a caramel apple that they had bought in the store uh, months ago. Well, put it with their snack items for their kids to have. Well, things moved to the front, other things moved to the back. The caramel apple moved all the way to the back. So they have a new house. Um, and it, it makes no difference if it's a new house, if it's an old house, if you're very clean, if you're not clean, it makes no difference. There's just a couple sticking points, pun intended, that, um, will cause, um, will, will cause to be a fruit fly. So what's, I guess, what's the first step into the elimination process? Uh, locate the source, find out where their, their breeding grounds are. Um, typically it could be drains, uh, old vegetables or fruits. Onions are most common that I find in people's houses. They kind of get tucked away underneath and then they get a rotten one. Fruit fries, I love that. Uh, spilled liquids, soda, beer, juice. Sometimes you spill them, they go underneath the counter. You don't move your counter out to clean or anything. Or... So what about cans, like the beer cans, soda cans, juice cans, that kind of thing? Is, uh, is that an attractor? It is, uh, especially beer cans because it starts the fermenting in there. Um, just, so is it the just, sugars that attract them? Yeah. So just get your cans out when you're done drinking with them and don't let them sit around. All right. So that's step one. So step two is after you've found and located the source, what do you do? Clean it up. It's time to go to work. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, scrub, whatever it might be. Get some drain cleaner to clean the drains out. Um, throw out any rotting food. Uh, like I said, the onions, very common. Um, Do you need to clean it with any special material, chemicals, or does just Dawn I mean, dishwashing soap work, or what do you recommend? Dish, dish soap should work. Uh, if you want to get real clean, get Windex or your 409, stuff like that. But, okay. Um, just a real good scrub. Okay. Um, and also, like a lot of times in basements, the drains in there will actually dry out. And so just check those drains, make sure they got water in the trap and whatnot too. And that's kind of a health thing other besides fruit flies too. Mm, so good to know. All right. So what's the next step? Um, if, after you clean everything up, you can get some traps cause they're going to be hanging around for a while. Um, it's a lot of hardware stores will carry them or you can make your own. What does a fruit fly trap look like? Is it like a teeny little mouse trap? Mm -hmm. Nope. It's... No, it's a. The, most of the homemade ones I see, people take a, a glass bottle and then they'll put either a little bit of beer in the bottom or some vinegar works good and then they'll make a funnel out of a piece of paper that you stick in Just the top. Just regular paper? Yep. Okay. Make a little funnel up there and then they'll go down in there but they, you typically don't find their way back out through that funnel because you got okay. a real fine hole on it. Oh, so just roll up a piece of paper, stick it in a glass bottle and put something sweet and sticky at the bottom. Yep. Yep, but huh. make sure it's kind I of think, a funnel. I think that's something I could even do. Good to know. Okay. So you leave the traps there for how long? Uh, leave them there until you don't see the fruit flies anymore. Makes um, sense. Sometimes it's just a couple days. If it's real bad, it might be a couple weeks. Okay. Good to know. And finally, what is the fourth step? If none of that has worked, there's probably some place that you cannot get to to clean. Uh, and that's when you may need to call us and get it chemically treated. And that can take some time too, you know, until they get on the chemical, the chemical gets them, so. Okay. 
Okay. So we're, we're a last resort. There's a lot of different steps, three different steps that you should take before you call us. So if you are having a fruit fly problem, like many of the, the places that we've seen lately, please follow these four steps. We would love, uh, I guess, love to help you more with, with any other topics in addition to fruit flies. So if you have anything that you are running into yourself, are in your home or homes that you've seen, please write them in, put them in the comments, email them to us at service at fitzerpestcontrol.com. We'd love to do an episode on them as well. So is there anything else that you can think of for fruit, fruit flies? Yeah, I was just going to mention, if you still do have some garden stuff around the house, um, just kind of make sure you go through it, get out anything that's rotting. Um, it might be time to just process stuff and get it put away so it's not hanging around your house. So. Makes sense.